Hello everyone and welcome back. In this tutorial we will learn how to create read more read less button with CSS only. Also we will add three dots at the end of the truncated text and apply a smooth transition when you expand the text. So without further ado let's get started. Alright we are in the VS Code and for this tutorial I have a demo project with an image here, a title and a long text here. And we will add read more read less button to expand and collapse this text. So let's open up VS Code and in HTML file in the body tag we see an image tag, a hidden one tag and a contact wrapper with a few paragraphs here. In style CSS file I've connected a custom font, I have some styles for the body element, for text as well and styles for the image tag. Let's go back to index.html file and for read more, read less functionality with CSS only, we will use input checkbox with label. And the input itself will add before the contact wrapper, but the label linked to that input will add after the text. So let's make a room here and add an input checkbox. We'll name it read more and create a label here for read more. For now, we'll put read more text. Hit save and the page is updated immediately. And now you see an input checkbox before the text as we put it here and read more text here. Now we'll do all the functionality in the CSS file. So let's go back to style CSS file. And here let's define the styles for the content text dot contact. And here we'll set max height to three lines. LH unit, which is line height, will equal to three lines of our text. And if I put overflow hidden, hit save, now you see that our text gets truncated exactly by three lines. Now let's add three dots at the end of the truncated text. Display, WebKit box, next, WebKit box orient vertical, and the imported one, WebKit line clamp. And we'll put 3, which equals to 3 lines. Hit save, and now you see 3 dots at the end of the truncated text. And now we need to make the following. When we check the checkbox, the text should be expanded and the 3 dots should be disabled. So first, we should select input when it's checked. And using the sibling CSS selector, we select a sibling content class. And here we say Webkin light clamp unset. So we disable our three dots at the end of the text first and set max height to any bigger value to totally expand the text. Let's say 100 light height. Hit save and because my checkbox was checked already, now you see that the text is expanded. If I uncheck it, the text gets truncated. Now let's apply a smooth transition, so when we expand the text, it would be expanded with the smooth transition. So we say transition and apply it to the max height property and a duration to 0.5 seconds. Now let's try again, I click on the checkbox and you see that the text is expanded smoothly. But we don't want to use the checkbox. We want to use this read more label as a button for the text expansion and collapsing. So let's hide the checkbox. Input border 0, clip rect 0, height to 1 pixel, width to 1 pixel, margin minus 1 pixel, overflow hidden, padding to 0 and position absolute. And now let's style our read more read less button. Label. I would first set a cursor to pointer so when we hover over the read more text, you will see a pointer instead of the regular text. Then I will apply margin top to one line height and display in line block. Now it looks like a simple button when we can click and expand and collapse the text. We can customize it even more by making the text dynamic. As you see, if I expand the text, the text is still read more. And we need to set it to read less when the text is expanded. And for that we will use after pseudo element. But first let's remove read more text from there and use the following styles. 
When the input is not checked, we select the label and its after element and set a contact property to read more. And if input is checked, we again select the after element of our label element and set a contact to read less. Now again you see read more text because the input is not checked and if I click it, the text is changed to read less because the input is checked. And we're almost finished, but we need to address the last issue we have. When the input is checked and the text is expanded, we've set a max height to a custom value of 100 line heights. In other words, 100 lines. But what if we don't know the actual size of the text? And here comes the newest feature in CSS called Calc Size. And now in July of 2024, it is available only as an experimental feature that you should enable it first in Chrome Flags. So we need to search for experimental web platform features and enable it. Soon it will be available for all the users in Chrome 129 version. So we've enabled experimental features and now we can apply the calc size function to see how it works. For now I will use height instead of max height and here in the transition as well. And when the input is checked, I will set an auto value. But it would not work without the brand new calc size function. Hit save and let's try again. And now, no matter what the size of the text, the CSS is calculating the needed height for the text and applied a transition without any restrictions. But if I click read less button, you will see that no transition is applied. Probably this is the only limitation of the CSS only approach for this functionality. If you want a transition for collapsing text, you would probably want to use JavaScript. And for now, we've finished. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful. Consider to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. More content soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.